Hi everyone, welcome to our class. This class is for people in level one and level two, but I would encourage anyone to try this class. You can always do easier versions of the poses and just even imagining yourself in a full variation will help to build that motor neuron connections in your brain to advance further in the future. So I would advise to have a couple of blocks and a strap ready for your guests who know they need uh, some assistance. Otherwise, let's start. I'm just going to move to my mat. Just going to start in seated, cross-legged. Sitting as comfortable as you are, put your hands onto your knees, close your eyes, putting all your intention in this, getting your body, your mind, and your breath ready for practice. Inhaling deeply all the way to your belly, and exhale, try to press the belly button in and up to help you to full exhale. Again, concentrating on your breath, deep inhale again. Long exhale, pressing the belly button to the spine. And again, nice deep inhale all the way to your belly button. And a full exhale. Gently open your eyes. And now carefully come on all fours. So now start on all fours in table top. Put your wrist under your shoulders, your knees under your hips. We're going to start with cats and cows. So inhale, lifting chest, lifting tail up. Exhale, belly button to the spine, looking at your navel. And again, inhaling into a cow. Exhaling into a cat. And again, inhaling into a cow. You can stay here doing cats and cow, or you can tuck your toes under. Lift your knees a few inches of the floor and continue doing cat. And cow with your knees slightly off the floor. So it will engage your abdominal muscles, your core. Continue breathing deep, inhaling on your cow and exhaling on your cat. And once more, in into your cow and out in your cat. Bring your knees onto the floor and tuck your toes. I'm just going to turn around so you can actually see me better. So staying on all fours, stretch your left leg behind you. Look at your left foot and rotate your toes so they're pointing to the left-hand side wall. And now on exhale, bend in that knee, bring your knee to your elbow. So maybe just like that. And again, exhale, push the leg behind you. And again, knee to the elbow. Inhale, straight leg. Exhale, knee to the elbow. Exhale, straight leg. Now, on your next exhale, bend in that knee halfway. Stay here, maybe lift the knee a little bit higher. Or if you can, stretch your leg to the side. Stay here. Breathe. Inhaling deeply, exhaling. On your next exhale, bring that knee to the floor. So I'm just going to turn other way around so you can see this. The opposite leg, so it's our, your right leg. Stretch the leg behind you. Twist the toes so you can see the point into your right. Exhale, knee to your elbow. Inhale, straight leg. And again, exhale, knee to the elbow. Inhale, straight leg. Once more, knee to the elbow, straight leg. So this time, knee comes halfway. Lift your knee higher. Stay here, or you can stretch your leg to the side. Stay here, inhale, and exhale. And again, nice deep inhale, and a full exhale, bend in that knee. Place the knee next to the right. So we are in tabletop again. Tuck your toes under, bring your sit bones over your heels, stretch your fingers tips away from the palm of your hand and press yourself into down facing dog. Just let's pedal our feet, one heel up, one down, 
Swaying your hips from side to side, stretching the sides of your body. And stop. Make your dog slightly shorter. So walk your feet a few inches to the front. Now putting all your weight onto your right hand, release your left hand and find your right ankle looking under your right armpit. Stop here. On your next inhale, release your left hand. Now you're, if you put the weight onto your left hand side, your right hand finds your left ankle and you're rotating your body, looking under your left armpit. Inhaling deeply here. Full exhale. Release your hand down. Reset your down facing dog. This time, with your right hand, find your right ankle. So same side. Lock yourself in. So you're staying on your right foot and your left hand. And lift your left foot over the floor. Maybe it's a few inches, maybe higher. <laughs> and release your leg on the floor. Reset your uh, down facing dog. Don't worry if you're wobbly. You see, I can be wobbly as well. Now, finding your left ankle with your left hand, lock yourself and lift your right foot off the floor. Again, it can be slightly off the floor or higher and release the foot onto the floor. Come back to down facing dog. On your next inhale, look between your hands, walk to the front of your mat, into your forward fold. Release your head, your shoulders. Inhale, start raising up, hands coming up. Look up at your hands, bring your breath to your chest. Stop here. Reset your breath, breathing deeply. Slow down your mind and your heart rate. Release your hands into Tadasana. Bring your arms up again, look up. And walk full yourself into forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale into forward fold. Step yourself into a plank. Hold here, push into the earth with both hands. Heels to the imaginary wall behind you. Check your triceps is rotated backwards. So inner creases of your elbows pointing to the front. Slide yourself forward, bending your elbows coming into Chaturanga. Inhale into upward facing dog. Exhale, rock over your toes into down facing dog. Inhale deeply here. Full exhale. Look between your hands, walk or step to the front of your mat, into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And inhale all the way up, your hands are falling over your head. Look up, bring your hands to the prayer, hands to your chest. Slow down your breath. Release your hands, Tadasana. Again, bring your hands over, look up, pivoting from your hips, so coming into forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And again, step yourself into a plank. Hold here, push into the earth, belly button to the spine, make your legs long. Again, rotate your triceps backwards, rock yourself forward slightly. Exhale into Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Release those shoulders, slide them down your back. On your next exhale, come into down facing dog. Inhale deeply here. Full exhale. On your next inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, bend in that knee, squeeze it close to your chest. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to the right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to the left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. On your next. Exhale, 
with the right foot between your hands. And with the help of your abdominal muscles, start raising up into high lunge. Stop here. Drop your tail down. Maybe you would need to bend your knees slightly. Bring the belly button to the spine. Raise both arms up. Stay here. Inhale. On your next exhale, lean forward. Your arms coming behind you. And rock yourself onto your front foot. Coming into warrior three again. You may need to use blocks. So put those blocks on front of you and release hands onto the blocks. If not, stay here, hands behind you. Elongate your spine, really stretch your spine here. On your next inhale, step back into your high lunge. On your next inhale, open yourself up into warrior two, so your right knee is on front of your mat. Make sure your knees over your ankle. Then we sit here to lean forward. So keep your shoulders over your pelvis. Stretch your arms long. Keep your right hand open to the sky. Left hand onto your thigh. A reverse warrior. Inhale into warrior two. Bending your right elbow, place it onto your thigh and your left hand stretches all the way to the sky. Press down with your right elbow into your right thigh to rotate yourself further to the left. Make sure your front knee is still bent. Now finding the back, uh, finding the lower back with your left hand, cover your lower back with your left hand, look down. Either releasing your hand onto your block or 10 inches away from your foot, front foot in diagonal, start coming into half moon. So look down for start. Now start rotating your belly, your chest to the left. Then maybe stretching your left arm up. Really stretch your arm and your leg away from the core. On your next inhale, bend the front foot, lightly step into warrior two. Place your left hand onto your left, left thigh and reverse your warrior. Frame your front foot with your hands, step into a plank. Rock yourself forward into chaturanga. Inhale, upward face and knock. Exhale. Down facing dog. From here, lift your left leg up. Exhale, knee to the chest. Inhale up. Exhale, knee to the left elbow. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, knee to the right elbow. Inhale, three legged dog. On your next exhale, lightly put that foot between your hands. Stretch your arms behind you. Inhale, raises you up into high lunge. You can check your high lunge so you're not over bending your lumbar spine. Drop that tail down. You may need to slightly bend your back knee. Raise your hands. And stop here. On your next inhale. Bring your hands behind you, lean forward, and come into warrior three. Again, you may need to release your hands onto blocks or onto the floor if balance is difficult. Keep your standing knee soft, so you're not locking the standing knee, but you engage your spine. On your next inhale, gently come back into high lunge. And open up yourself into warrior two on left hand side soft gaze over your left hand make sure your left knee is still over your left ankle right hand comes onto your right thigh flip your left hand open reverse your warrior your front knee is still bent 
Next inhale, coming back to your warrior two, bend in the left elbow, place your forearm onto your thigh, stretch your right hand all the way to the skies. And again, press down with your left forearm into your thigh and to help to rotate your chest a bit more in this variation of side angle. Right hand comes onto your lower back, look down, release your left hand into the left upper corner of your mat, onto block or onto your mat, and start coming up, looking down for start, lifting your right leg behind you. Start rotating belly chest to the right hand side, maybe stretching your right arm up, stay here. Pressing the right heel into imaginary wall behind you. On your next inhale, lightly step into warrior two and reverse your warrior. On your exhale, frame in the front foot. Step into a plank. So here, either you can rest in your child pose or we're going to go through vinyasa again. So rocking yourself forward. Chaturanga, inhale, upward dog, exhale, down facing dog. And everybody gonna stay here, either child pose or down facing dog. Inhaling and exhaling, five long breath. So nice deep inhale. Full exhale, four. Again, nice deep inhale. Full exhale, five. Now lifting your left leg behind you. Bend your knee, lightly put your foot between your hands. Start raising into high lunge. Again, slightly bend your back knee so you drop your Tailbone down. Inhaling deeply here. Full exhale. On your next inhale, start coming forward, scooching your back toes forward, coming into warrior three with arms stretched in front of you. Or if it's still difficult for you, um, hands could be on your blocks. So stay in here. Elongating your spine. On your next exhale, lightly step into your high lunge. And open up yourself into warrior two with your right knee on the front of your mat. Gazing over your right hand. Left hand comes onto your thigh. Keep your right hand open. Reverse the warrior. Remember the front knee is still bent. From here, we're coming into side angle, so your right forearm comes onto your thigh. This time your left arm goes up and over, so you're covering your left ear with your upper left arm. So you may stay here in side angle, enjoying that nice energy line running through your left hand side, or you can stretch your right arm up. Working your obliques, your core. You know what's coming next? We're coming into Adha Chandrasana. You can drop your right hand onto the floor, or you can have both hands off the floor. Step lightly into your warrior two, and reverse the warrior. Frame in your front foot, step into plank, rock yourself forward, chaturanga on exhale, inhale up the facing dog, and exhale into down facing dog. Nice deep inhale here, full exhale. Now lifting your left leg up, step your left foot between your hands. Start coming into high lunge. 
with help of your core. Drop your shoulders down. On your next exhale, start coming onto your left foot. Into what you see, arms stretched in front of you. Inhaling deeply. Full exhale, so back foot is still flexed. On your next inhale, step lightly into your high lunge. And open up into warrior two. So gaze away left hand. Placing your right hand onto your thigh, left hand flips to the skies. We need the best in the warrior. Breathing deeply to your left lung. Inhale, coming into side angle. So bending the left elbow, left uh, forearm comes onto your thigh. Right arm comes up and over. So your palm is facing down. So you can stay here, enjoying your side angle. Or you can stretch your left hand left arm long so we're coming into our chin dress and a half moon so either hand on the floor or coming step by step into our chin dress now with both arms long and step back into warrior two and let's reverse the warrior on exhale, frame the front foot, step into your plank, rock forward, into chaturanga, stop here, inhale deeply, full exhale, on your next inhale, down, upward facing dog, exhale, down facing dog, again here, either stay here for five rounds of breath, or child pose, Listen to your body. If your heart rate is high, maybe it's better for you to go into child pose. So do what your body is asking for. After five inhales and exhales, we all meet in a down facing dog. Lifting your right leg up. Bend your that knee, place your foot between your hands. Start coming into high lunge. Release your hands down, interlace your fingertips behind your back. Really open up across your chest. We're going to be coming into warrior three with hands behind. If you need to lift hands, please do. Otherwise, coming onto your right foot. Warriors, three variation with hands interlaced behind your back. And then next inhale, step lightly into your high lunge. Release your hands and come into warrior two on your right hand side. This time your left hand comes and binds to your right thigh. If you can't reach the right thigh, you may just grab your t-shirt. Flip your left hand open. We're going to reverse the warrior. On your next exhale, bend in the elbow, putting your forearm onto your thigh. We're coming into side angle variation with a half bind. You may stay here, or if full bind is available for you, snuggling your right upper arm under, find your fingertips behind your back, and stop here. Next step, we're going to be coming into Adhashandrasana with either half bind or full bind, so, or maybe you need to release both hands, feel free. Otherwise, if you want to try full bind, start scratching your back toes, 
very slowly, lifting your back leg up, it may be not full variation, but do your best, and come back in, reversing your warrior, framing your front foot, step back into your plank, rock forward, chaturanga, hold here. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down facing dog. Now lifting your left leg up, step your foot between your hands. Start coming into your high lunge. Release your hands. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Open up across your chest. Coming into your front foot, into warrior three. Stretch your back leg long. Open up across your chest. Breathe deeply. Lightly step into your high lunge. Release your hands, open up. Into warrior two. Make sure your left knee is over your left ankle. Reverse your warrior. I'm oh, sorry, your right hand binds. Remember, we bind in hand to the thigh or to the t-shirt. In warrior, in reverse warrior or sun warrior. Keeping the half bind. Bend in the right elbow, or left elbow, sorry. Putting on the left side into side angle variation. So you can stay here, or you can go into full bind. Now looking down, we're coming into other chandrasana, so either you leave your hands, or keep in bind. Start coming onto your front foot. And lightly step back. Keep in half bind, reverse your warrior. Placing both hands on around the front foot, step into a plank, rock yourself forward, chaturanga, stop here. Inhale into upward facing dog. Exhale, down facing dog. And again, child pose is another option for five long breaths. Inhaling deeply, keeping long exhales. Sorry, I keep drinking water. My throat is very dry today. When you finish your five round of breath, we're all gonna meet in down facing dog. And from here, walk your hands to your feet, slightly bending your knees, Finding your opposite elbows, drop your head and just sway from side to side. Lead in all your spine. Release your hands and bone by bone unravel into standing. I'm just going to turn around. So we're going to stretch our glutes now after all those standing poses. So put all your weight onto your right foot, slightly bending your knees, put your left ankle onto your right knee and open up your thigh. Bring your hands into the prayer. You may stay here or start pushing your buttocks backwards, leaning forward, placing one elbow on your knee, one onto your foot. You can stay here or maybe you can go deeper, releasing your fingertips or your palms onto the floor. Drop your head and breathe here. On your next inhale, gently unraveling, same way as you came down. Release your leg. Give your legs a little shake. Stand you nice and tall. Slightly bending your knees. All the weight on your left foot, your right ankle comes onto your left knee. 
hands into prayer. Maybe stay here if it's an option, or start leaning forward. Your buttocks coming down. You're bending your standing knee more. So your left elbow onto your foot and your right elbow onto your knee. It could be enough. Or if you want to feel a little bit deeper, a little stretch, release your hands onto the floor. Drop your head down. Breathe into this stretch. On your next inhale, slowly unravel in the same way as you came in. Release your foot. Give your feet a shake. Stand it in front of your mat. Bring your hands up into prayer. Look up. Draw the prayer down to your chest. Close your eyes. Slow down your breath, your mind, and your heart rate. Open up your eyes gently. Lift yourself on tips of your toes. Start bending your knees, coming down, releasing your hands under your knees, and drop your head onto your knees into this nice cosmic air. Breathing deeply into your back. Exhaling all the tension which build up. Now start slowly walking your hands behind you, bringing your seat bones onto the mat. So stretch your legs long in front of you, remove the flesh from your buttocks. Sit nice and tall. Bring your arms up, elongate your spine. And from here, you may need to use a strap. We're going into seated forward fold. So if you need a strap, find your strap. Otherwise, pivoting from your hips, start Leaning forward, hooking your hands onto your feet. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, see if you can bring your belly to the thighs. Again, inhale, elongate your spine. Exhale, see if you can bring your chest to your thighs. Again, inhale, long spine, long neck. See if you can bring your face to your knees. Keep breathing here. On your next inhale, come halfway. Keep your hands where they are. Now, your right hand goes onto the outer edge of your left foot. Release your left hand behind you. So bring your foot up, coming into a twist to the left. Bring your left hand parallel to the floor. You may be looking onto your over your left shoulder. Sit nice and tall. You may need to use a strap to hold the foot. On your next inhale, release the foot down. Come back into seated. Again, raise your arms up. Elongate your spine. A really long spine here. Exhale, coming into forward fold. So belly comes to the thighs. Hands either holding a strap or your feet. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, belly to the thighs. Again, inhale, elongate your spine even more. Exhale, chest to the thighs. Inhale, long neck. Exhale, face to the knees. Keep breathing. On your next inhale, Come halfway, so still holding your feet. Now your left hand finds outside of your right foot, your right hand behind you. Start coming up, bring your foot up. Bring your right arm parallel to the floor and twist to the right. Keep breathing. You may either have your knee slightly bent or hold your foot with a strap. Release your foot down, bring your hands up once more, sit tall, exhale, pivoting from your hips, coming into that forward fold, finding your feet, and sequentially coming down. So on each inhale, you elongate your spine. With each exhale, you're pressing down slowly to your uh, thighs. So your lower belly first, 
then upper belly, then chest, and then only your head last. Keep elongating your spine like you're trying to reach your feet with your crown of your head. So very long spine. Remove the shoulders away from your ears. So the shoulders are sliding behind you, head towards the front. On your next inhale, unraveling into seated. Then push yourself to the front of your mat. Your feet are hip width apart. Bring your hands in front of you. Start coming down slowly. Stop here. Inhale, sit up. Again, on exhale, we're coming down, maybe a little bit lower than before. Inhale, sit up. And again, slowly, a little bit lower than the two previous times. Inhale, sit up. And this time, we're coming all the way down, bone by bone. Your head will be coming last. And release your hands, release your feet. Start getting ready for your well and Shavasana. Closing your eyes. Looking deep down yourself, quietly in your mind, saying thank you to your physical body for the practice it was able to do today. Allow yourself to relax. Allow yourself to have some rest. Rest in your mind, rest in your body. Coming back to your natural, soft, quiet breathing. Breathing with every cell of your body. Imagining you breathing through the skin, through your muscles, through every little cell. Nourishing your body with oxygen. Relaxing into the Shavasana. Stay in the Shavasana as long as you need to, preferably 7-10 minutes. I'm going to part with you here. Namaste everyone. Good job.